So on the column content here, on the, the one with eight columns, you could just do that. Um, or actually, you can wrap it in T tags. So I could just like copy paste this, you know, like let's say I, I want a page with like 20 of these, right? You could just copy paste it 20 times, but then that will like clutter your code uh, a lot, and you don't want that to. It's not like we're programmers. Come on, we can do this programmatically. We don't want to copy paste this 20 times. So to do that, I have um, I've developed a way, to, a, a trick that you can do to make this uh, a lot simpler. So first of all, um, we are going to um, since this is using class syntax, I would always like to do a constructor. And then props. Uh, yeah, I was I like to do that. And then you do super props. This is like just uh, the basic uh, React stuff. Have to have. So like in the inside of our render functions, right? Like I would like to automatically generate a few paragraphs for us programmatically. So the way we, we can do this is um, let's have a variable call number of paragraph. I like to keep everything capitalized so it's uh, it's in constant. Um, so here let's say you know I want like 10 copies of these or 15. 15 paragraphs, right? So we want to generate this programmatically. Um, to do that we have to let me install a library called Lodash. So this is a very useful utility library. I don't know if you've heard of it, but Lodash is extremely popular um, in JavaScript community. Uh, it has a bunch of useful functions that we can use to help us uh, manipulate data. So it has uh, hundreds of functions. So I would like to use that. Um, and then going forward, we will, oh, I forgot to do npm save. Uh, but um, you should probably do npm install low dash and then dash dash save to save it to your. Uh, you know what? Let me do it now. I want to save it to my package JSON. So if you clone my project, you should have that in your project definition. So the two functions that we are going to use from low dash is called uh, times. So times it's it's very simple. Let's say you know um, it invokes and iterate n times, returning an array to result of each invocation. So you know if you do uh, a string, if you say a string and then first variable is three, it will just do it three times. It's very useful if you want to repeat something x amount of times. So we are going to use that library, and the other function is called flatten. So flatten, <laughs> flatten will basically, um, if you have multi-dimensional array, it will flatten it into a one-dimensional, uh, to a single level deep array. So and we're going um, to use that to, basically we want to create, our goal here, right, is to create an array of paragraphs, of p-tags. So let's say like uh, the count number of paragraphs is 15. I want to create an array of 15 paragraphs all the same with the p tag with this thing. So in the meantime, let me um, get inside. Let me make sure the app is running. For some reason, Create React app starts very slowly on my computer. So I'm not sure if this is my problem or the Create React app. But basically, we are going to, our goal is to create an array of 15 of these, right? And remember, this is JSX, JSX, so we want to return 15 of the 15 items inside the array of the type JSX. So I'm going to show you how to do that as soon as our app starts. Okay, so we are going to import certain um, certain functions that we're going to use from 
uh, low dash. So let's import flatten times from low dash. So this will allow us to use the flatten and times function as we build our array of 15 JSX components with the P tags. So to do that, we um, it's very simple. We basically set const paragraphs equals. So we want um, Lodash is a very functional language. So you can compose functions together to create really powerful. Um, functional flow. So I, I can show you what it means by if I so let's have a flatten function. So this is from low dash flatten. And saying in, and then inside of uh, flatten we're going to call the times function. In, and inside the times function remember the times function if you look at the documentation the times function takes a number as a first uh, parameter and then the, an iterator function as a second parameter so we're going to use so if we if we want 15 paragraphs we'll have to pass in that uh, the variable that we created called number of paragraphs as the first parameter and then the second parameter we're going to you know iterate through it so you're going to there's actually a ID or index uh, very parameter that's passed into that function and then we're going to basically build out like what do we want to return for each of these uh, array so if you're not familiar with this syntax this is ES6 uh, arrow function um, I also have a tutorial on how that works if you look around the website or my YouTube uh, channel I'll probably link it in the description below so basically we want to return so the reason I'm doing this uh, parentheses here is because when you want to return a JSX, you need to wrap it in this parentheses so it doesn't throw error. So we're going to be, you know, basically let me copy this whole P tag down here. Because we don't need it anymore. We are going to just put it in here. And as a good practice in React, every whenever you create an array of uh, items, you always want to provide a key property. So it will JSX or React will knows how to distinguish them from each other. So now we have a paragraph uh, variable, and then we need to put it inside this um, the A column uh, container. So to display all this data is very easy. You just have to use the map function for array. So every array uh, function has a map. Uh, function for array. So you can just do paragraph paragraphs dot map and then you just do paragraph basically you want to say for each paragraph just return it. All right. So this will basically return the paragraph one by one. So each for each of these array, it will just print them out one by one. Uh, this is also uh, ES6 syntax, so it may look weird to you, but it's actually very handy and shorthanded. Um, the one thing about this break bracket in here in React is that whenever you inside the the render function in the return statement, if you wrap anything inside of this brace, it will basically execute as a JavaScript. So it's executing this whole thing. So let me save this thing and then we go look to see if it works and it doesn't, of course. Let's see what's going on. Div cannot appear as descendant of P. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Um, divs cannot appear as descendant. Hmm. So something in the p tag uh, is not working. 
let me see I think uh, oh right this is a p tag here so hmm, I can't have like p inside of p tag so I'm just gonna change it to div refresh huh still something's wrong uh, no useless constructor no unused I guess uh, it's throwing error because I'm using a useless constructor. Fine, I'll take it out. Expect an assignment with function call instead of saw an expression. Line 14. Okay, interesting. So it doesn't like it when I'm doing. Um, this inside of here, inside the uh, flatten and times. Um, let me see. We got index. And then... Oh right, because um, when I have a single statement, if I put braces here, I'll have to say return. But if I don't put braces here, it just simply return for me, and I don't need to put this here. Alright, there you go. So we have um great. So this is like 15 paragraphs. So just to show you how simple it is, let's say I changed my mind, I want just one paragraph, let's save and then boom, you got one paragraph.